in high school, it was a different time. It was almost 20 years ago. No, I'm sorry. It's over 20 years ago. I'm old as fuck now. But as different as around 2000 was from right now, I still felt the same pain I have felt my entire life. And that pain was a pain of isolation. My name is Coach Bruce. I'm a life coach for ADHD parents. And the reason why I want to talk about my pain today is because it has actually given me something really important. I can think back to those 20 years ago, whenever I was somehow extremely popular, but also extremely alone. I always lacked deep connection. I always found myself set apart from everyone else for some reason. As much as I was liked, I was always different. And that didn't feel good. I always felt that disconnect from everybody else. People would go out in big group events and I wouldn't be invited. I'd be invited to the parties. I dated a, little, you know, a decent amount. But for some reason, I was never seen as one of them. I went on to be voted one of the most popular people in school, but I didn't win. And the reason I realized that was, was because I was dating someone who was also very popular. And when we broke up, I lost a lot of people because it was never about me. I was different. I was just with somebody who had paved the way for me to be accepted more into the general society. And that took me many years to understand that my being different meant that I wasn't going to fit in with everybody else. That difference, I didn't learn until five to 10 years, I mean, about five years later, was ADHD. That difference drove me to have, in high school, extreme rage. It didn't happen often, but whenever I would get angry whenever I would somebody would tell me something that I didn't like I would feel so much rage I would see red I would there was times I blacked out because I was so angry it hurt it hurt to be completely out of control of my emotions and to not be able to do anything to pull them back in it hurt so much that I eventually just turned off the ability to feel I used to talk about my anger as if it was another person I would tell my this girl I was dating at the time that that wasn't me. That was him. My anger was so strong that I personified it and it was personified so much that I eventually had to isolate it and cut it off because it hurt me too bad. And when I was hurt, I hurt other people. I was dangerous all because I was lonely. I was set apart and I didn't understand that the reason I was set apart was not because I was different. It was because I was being shaped to be different. I hurt so I could help. As I went through the next 20 years of my life, I would be hurt and would be uncommon in every situation I would be in. I would be the only. I would be the only black guy in so many situations, like most of the situations I've ever been in, in my life. I would be the only person with ADHD. I'd be the only fat person. I'd be the only fat black person. I'd be the only fat black person with ADHD. That's pretty specific, but it definitely provides for a lot of onlys, a lot of feeling disconnected, a lot of not feeling like you belong. And it took me so many years to see that the reason why I needed to understand the depths of not being able to belong was because now, today, I can talk to you. And I can tell you, I know what it feels like to not belong. I know exactly how dark it gets whenever you are all by yourself and dealing with the struggle. I know it. I know it well. And what I see now is that it is my responsibility to turn my pain into purpose. It is my duty to take this mess that was my life and turn it into a success. And I found myself being called to find others who were like me and help them from deep in the mud to the summit. To stop feeling so alone and feeling so put upon by the outside world. To feel 
or to stop feeling confused and controlled by their ADHD. Because I felt it. The Some of the darkest times of my life were the fear of not being able to get my medication and being terrified of the whirlwind that would my life would turn into if I went one day without my medication. My ADHD controlled me. I let it. As soon as the excuse came that it's not me, it's my ADHD, I dove right into it and I believed every word of it. I believed that I couldn't do so many things because I was ADHD. I couldn't be on time. I couldn't possibly organize that. I possibly I couldn't possibly stick to a schedule or be consistent or ever provide any sort of deep communication because I was I was ADHD. My brain doesn't work that way. I was completely lost in that identity of being less than. So I know how you feel. But I can also tell you that you can. You can live by a schedule. You just need to change what it looks like. You can grow deep and meaningful connection. You just need to stop comparing yourself to others. You can have any and everything you want in this life, but you have to stop feeling sorry for yourself. And you have to stop lying and saying that you're okay. You have to accept the truth that you are not fucking happy where you're at. If you can accept that truth, Then you can start to deal with the facts. You can start to see where you are and where you want to be. And you can start to make changes. You can start to make progress. But as long as you keep lying to yourself, you will never fucking get get any better. I can promise you that. I spent almost 40 years not getting better, not seeing improvement, not engaging with my family, not being who my wife wanted me to be, not wanted me not being who my wife needed me to be, not being who I needed me to be. It's easy to fall into the pit of excuses and blaming something else for taking control of your life. Stop letting life happen to you. Take control. If you know what I'm talking about, throw control in the comments. Identify yourself as somebody who is willing to wake the fuck up and start living your life. I know it doesn't feel good to feel bad, but it's better than feeling nothing and just sleepwalking through this life. Wake up, take control, comment. Let's have a conversation about it. And then go to, uh, then go to authentic identity management forward slash. I'm going to try that again. And then go to authentic identity management.com forward slash assessment and take the aimless life assessment and see what the next steps are to get help in waking up your fucking life and taking control of your situation. I know I can help you, but you have to help yourself first. You have to say me, I need help. I want to help you because I know how bad it hurts. I'll talk to you tomorrow.